if you're itching to get in the garden, your green thumb is itching to get a little dirt in it, we are with the crackpot gardener, Cindy Shapton, who's got a really great tip for us today on how to take cuttings to make new plants. Yes. It's a great way to save money, It's a great too. way to save money. It's a great way to keep a plant or make more plants. Yeah. It's something you really love. Um, the first one we're going to do is a hydrangea. These are, um, there's no bloom on this. And all I'm going to do is see these, these are called leaf nodes. Uh huh. And so we're going to, we're just going to strip these leaves off. All of the leaves? No, just some of them. Okay. And what I like to do, you want to use a really sharp instrument when you cut them. So I'm going to cut this one up a little bit. And then what I like to do sometimes is I even like to, like, damage it a little bit. Oh. And that kind of encourages roots to grow, believe it or not. Really? I've never mm -hmm. heard that tip. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to put it in a container of perlite. So this whole container is just filled with perlite? Mm-hmm. Just full of... And this is what it looks like Horticultural perlite. Okay. Available okay. at your local co-op. Uh-huh. And you just put this in so that it's covering up those areas. See? Just stick it right down in there. Nothing yeah. to it, right? Okay. Uh-huh. So that's how you would do a hydrangea. Um, rosemary is another plant that we love to have. Yeah, and oh, so, I love rosemary. Yeah, and, so and we'll, you were saying these don't grow very well from seeds sometimes if you're slow, trying to make new very ones. Very hard yeah. to grow from seeds, so cuttings is your is your way to go. You want to cut three to six inches about mm -hmm. of length, and then we're just going to strip these little side branches off. Okay. About that far. Okay. And again, this is just what I like to do. I like to just scrape just them up just a little bit. Just sort of scrape them up a you little bit. You don't have to, but yeah, you can. It sure and then makes we're just your smell good. <laughs> it does. And then we're just going to stick them in. Okay. Perlite. Okay. And I also have a lavender, which is the same difference. Okay. It's a lot like rosemary in the fact that it's slow to grow yeah. by seed, so why not take cuttings? So we'll do the same thing. Strip those leaves off. Cut it, you know, just kind of, you can use your nail. Yeah. And, um, and just put it, it up a little bit. We can just put. We'll give it its own little container. But you could, if you wanted to, put it in the same container. You could. Okay. You could. But I try to kind of, you know, yeah. kind of keep them all kind of separated. And then we have roses. That's another easy thing to do. Um, and so here's one, and you'll need to use. Love here, roses. I'll give you this one. This okay. is a Penelope, and it doesn't have uh, the sticky, little, yeah, thorns. Little pricky things on there. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so again, we're going to strip off the leaves. Uh huh. And that's good. That and then, good. yep. And then we're gonna just rub, you know, damage mm -hmm. it a little bit. And who doesn't love roses? Who doesn't? You know, you go to a friend's house and they have a rose bush that you like, and yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll give okay you a, to give you a bless cutting. you with a cutting. Yeah. Okay. And now we're gonna stick it. This is a root, a root hormone, and sometimes people like to use these. I don't always use it, but it helps it to keep it from rotting. Mm -hmm. And roses take a long time to root, so we'll just put it in that, stick it in there. Okay. And that's all you do. And that's it? Yes. And I like to keep my pots in a container like this. And so when I water them, uh -huh. the pearl light will swell. Oh. And it will, um, it's a sterile environment, which yeah. is great for plants. This will swell some. Uh -huh. And then um, it'll just, you just keep them moist. So keep how them. often would you probably water these when oh, you just feel that the soil dry. is dry, or the, not the perlite's dry? And then, if you want to keep the humidity, another thing you could do is put a bag over it, ah. which acts like a little greenhouse. Would you set these out in a sunny location? No, I would keep them in a kind of shaded area. I see. And if you had a greenhouse, that'd be great, but if you don't, don't worry about it. Just keep it where they stay kind of warm, uh -huh. and check in about a month, and you should start to feel, if, I just kind of tug on them a little bit, and if you feel there's a little resistance, you got a root growing. We got growing. a root growing. I love it. So that's all I there is it. to it. And um, another thing you can do is mist them now and then. Uh huh. That helps them too. So a bag oh, wow. or mist them and, yeah. and just be patient because it takes a while. <laughs> I love this. I've never really thought to do it, but I'm definitely going to try it, Cindy. These are yeah. great tips. And yeah. you can always find more of her tips on her website. Yeah, which the Crackpot Gardener. The Crackpot Gardener. Well, Facebook, actually. The Crackpot Gardener or, or the website. Or the website. CindyShapton.com. Either one. Thank you. You're welcome. It's fun. <laughs>